Hi guys, it's Tasha. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the crib. For my returning positive supporters and subscribers, welcome back. Come on in and get comfortable. Guys, this was supposed to be a throwback Thursday. Let me see. Okay, it's 11.54 on Thursday. That's when I'm starting this. So it's not going to be uploaded until tomorrow, which is on going to be Friday. But I am going to go ahead on and do this one. <clears throat> Besides, I told a friend of mine uh Leela that I was gonna do this for a throwback Thursday so y'all forgive me for it being late and all that jazz but we're gonna get to it <coughs> okay I'm sorry about that I have allergies like always I bought this this is a shimmering eyeshadow a shimmering loose eyeshadow I got this from Dollar Tree and I think in one of my videos I said if you wanted to see what I'm gonna do with this you know I'm doing, you know, throw by Thursday. I don't know if I said that part, but stay tuned, maybe or something like that. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead on and do what we're gonna do with this now. I just punched out some things with some cardstock, and I got a flower here and a butterfly, and maybe hello. We might do those three. So what I'm going to do is, okay, here is the jar we're going to use, and I need some UT, Ultra Thick Embossing Enamel. And we're going to put that in here. Ooh, that might be too much, because I don't think we're going to need that much. And if we do, then we'll get over it. Put the top back on that, because I will spill it, even though it's over there. And I'm going to dump some of this shimmer powder, this makeup, into this thing right here. And I guess the color intensity, how much you put in is how intense you want the color to be. Alright, let me put the top on this. Oopsies. And shake it up. I'm sorry, let me get this. There we go. Oh, I'm going to shake this up. Sorry about all the throat clearing if I don't say it. Okay, so we got that shook up. It's all shook up. And then we're going to start this process. Now, this is a new Versamark pad. This is my old one. And I think this one is about to go away. I think I'm going to go ahead on and, and trash that one. I don't know how old that one is. Hell, I don't even, ooh, excuse me. I don't even know how old this one is. I've had them so long. So let me see that. And I've got this little puppy right here. And, you know, let's use the paper that I um, print, uh, cut these things out from to kind of protect the surface here. Okay. So, let's do the flower first because that's originally what I wanted to do anyway. But I wanted to use the flowers that you get at Dollar Tree and take them apart, the white ones. And I think they're, I don't know if they're hibiscus or... Or if they're hyacinth, hyacinth, or if, there's, if that's the same thing. I don't even know. But those white ones that's, that Dollar Tree always has. And then I'm going to just dump this on the flower here. Let me turn it loose. I'm going to dump this on, on all over the flower. The only thing about this UT, it is really thick. And it'd be, it would probably work better if it was a real fine powder. It works okay. Don't get it twisted. But if it was a finer powder, I think it would work a whole lot better. And they may have a finer powder now, but I just have no intentions on buying it because I don't use it like that. Okay, I'm going to put the top back on this. And we're going to get this over here. And now we're going to use this thing right here. So please excuse the noise. Let that cool a second. I don't want that my... Uh, <clears throat> Things to stick. Try to get up under it. I don't. Okay, there we go. And there you are. Shimmery. Can you see the shine on that? Let me see. I hope you can see the shine on this. Let me see if I can get my light to shine on it. There we go. Very pretty, very pretty. And it's cooled. 
So let's do the butterfly. It's not going to emboss on little fine, really fine surfaces because the powder is just too thick. The embossing powder is just absolutely too thick. It's very, very chunky. Isn't that butterfly gorgeous? I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Let me bring it up. Oh, isn't that pretty? Look at that. There we go. Beautiful. And I don't know if people are still doing this technique nowadays. I really don't. <clears throat> I just know I did it back then. And I think it's almost 10 years ago, as a matter of fact. Uh, I'm going to put my video, which I think is probably my second or third video that I ever did from 10 years ago. I'm going to... I'm going to link it below or put it in the i cards or but whatever you do to it so you guys can see that video. And, what, and that's what I'm doing with the Dollar Tree flowers. And this right here is UT with this Recollections glitter in it. Now there is no iridescence with to this glitter. This just straight glitter. No color. A lot of the, the glitter, this white glitter that I see is has like a green iridescence to it and I didn't want that and I was actually surprised and happy to find that glitter that didn't have any iridescence to it so we're gonna do a snowman and a snowflake so let's do Mr. And snowman first her out. and let's get him heat it up I think I got him here. Hopefully he won't be too hot. And I didn't get him coated well. But here he is. Ooh, I stuck my finger in. I didn't mean to, but there he is. And I think what may have happened is I put too much. If there's a such thing, I don't know. But there he is. So just have to, I guess it really depends on what you're doing because I feel that the other ones, I don't know, the other ones probably did the same thing, but they had color. Where is, what did I do with them? Oh, here they go. Let's see. Yeah, they did the same thing. You may not be able to see it, but since they had color, you don't see the that part. But he is cute, though, so I won't do... Um, well, you know what? Let's try and see. Let's try one more. Let's do the butterfly. Let's see what happens. I'm just going to do this one pass. And it may just be the heat uh, going in. I don't know. We're going to do this. I'm going to get this in here. Get Mr. Butterfly in here. Okay. Bring Mr. Butterfly out. We're going to get them all. Maybe a little bit more right there, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. There we go. And he's really pretty. Can you see? I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but I hope so. I can't see him in my viewfinder. But that's the butterfly. And he is really, really pretty. Yeah, he's really pretty. So that is my Throwback Thursday episode. Um... It's just, if you got, what is it? If you want to try different colors, please feel free. I got this from Jessie Girl. 
um, use use Jessie Girls if you haven't already. This is a highlighter, and this this actually has a gold iridescence to it. Use that. Um, these right here, you can't get these anymore. These were actually pigments that I got from Coastal Sense. They had those sample sizes you could get. That's what this product is. <clears throat> we all know this is a, a eyeshadow. If you got, if you have a hard eyeshadow, break it up and try it. Let me do one more. I got this right. This is an old one, and this one has an iridescence uh, and iridescence. Either that, to or either one. have um, do it on my snowman. But I'm gonna do it on this guy, on this hello. And I'm sure this is all kinds of wrong using my finger to do this. Oh, this is so pretty. And I don't even know where I got that. The the uh, pigment that's in the powder. I don't even know where it came from. I don't remember. Oh, I bet you know where I, you know where I bet you I think it came from. Sorry about that. My camera just went. What? Um, I bet you it came out of one of those Tim Holtz things. Those. Oh God, you know what I'm talking about. If I if I remember, I put the name of it somewhere. Oh my goodness, I bet you that's where it came from. But look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Can you see the iridescence on that? Hello. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, but that is my throwback Thursday. That's what I want to show you guys, what you can do basically with old eyeshadows. And if you have any kind of, like I said, eyeshadows, pigment, powders, things of that nature, even the hard eyeshadows. If that's a color that you like or you think you can use it, break it up, put it in with your your UT or whatever type of clear embossing powder that you have and use it. You get your heat gun out and do what you got to do. All right, guys, that's it. I want to thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch my video. If you haven't, I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. All your comments are truly appreciated. Come back anytime and I see you all in my next video. Bye-bye, love bugs.